Sure. Act 1, Scene 3. Elkhorn Valley. Well, that sounds nice. I don't need to do anything with the truck, I guess. Homer, you can stay there, bud. I gotta go check this out. Entrance. What's down in the cave? Ooh, hello. Who are you? Shannon speaks into the large brick cell phone held up to her ear. It's $200 for two weeks. Yeah, it kind of is an emergency, or no, it's fine, I'll figure it out. Yeah, it kind of is an emergency. Phone inaudible. Okay. But can I trust him to not just change the locks? Inaudible. Great. Yes, and I appreciate that, but... Inaudible. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Or forget it, bye. Love you! Am I just developing characters as we go? I don't know who Shannon is, but Conway has a delivery. Oh, look, Homer's with us. Stranger. Oh, we're, we're Shannon now. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. I saw the light was on, and I'm looking for the cat for the on-ramp, too. Are you here to kick me off the property? Do you believe in ghosts? Well, let's see. I do believe a place can be haunted, if that's what you mean. What about a person? Can a person be haunted? Sure, I guess a person could. Sometimes I feel haunted myself. Me too. Oh yeah? Did, uh, is that what led you down here? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, you seem like you got a lot on your mind. I don't mean to bother you, it's just... Here's what it is. I drive deliveries for a shop called Lizette's Antiques, and I'm out trying to finish this job. You're making a delivery to the mine? Oh, uh, no. I have a delivery for 5 Dogwood Drive, and I can't remember ever seeing that address before. Now I heard I need to take a highway called the Zero. So I met this young lady named Weaver Marquez, and she sent me this way, and so here I am. Uncommon kind of place for an on-ramp, but that's what it's been like so far anyway with... What? Weaver Marquez, do you know her? So you saw her tonight. I know Weaver. She was... She's my cousin. I'm Shannon Marquez. God damn it, it's confusing me how we're switching back and forth between characters here. Um, Oh, you're the one who fixes televisions. That's right. Did she tell you that too? Of course she did. Weaver doesn't lie. One time, when we were younger, she told me my dad had been in a terrible car wreck. There was crushed metal everywhere, and we'd been hearing it echo through the house for years, she said. I was very upset, crying, and then my dad walked in the door, just come back from a trip to the junkyard, collecting scrap metal to fashion into wind chimes. I was angry, but she said it wasn't a joke, and it wasn't a lie. At the time, I thought she meant it as a riddle or a puzzle. But Weaver's not a puzzle. She's a mystery. So maybe the Zero is down here somewhere? Maybe it is. Well, I won't mind the company. I've got business down here myself. I talked to Weaver earlier this evening, too. Or, anyway, she talked to me. It's hard to tell if she's listening sometimes. Weaver told me I had to come down here to the old Elkhorn mine. She said I'd find something I've been looking for. What are you looking for? I'm not exactly sure. I have a few ideas. I'll know it when I see it. It's not such a bad thing, you showing up now. All told, I'd rather not go down there alone. Your dog should stay up here, though. It's no place for a dog. This is an old mine. It runs pretty deep and tangled. If we're going to go down into it, find your on-ramp and whatever else, we've got to keep our bearings. I don't want to get turned around. I've got some gear here to measure conductivity, frequency response, stuff like that. Maybe we can find a way to put a signal out ahead, do some analysis, and figure out what kind of topology we're up against. Topology? <laughs> okay. Topology. That's the science of continuous space, my friend. The way this twisty maze of passage fits together. Alrighty then. I guess, can we tell Homer to stay? Homer, bud, you can't come in. Homer! Good boy. Oh, there's a PA. That runs into the mine's PA system. Do you think it still works? Uh, only one way to find out. Alright, give it a whirl. Uh, let's 
let's see, three choices. Is there anybody down there? Yeah. Uh, is there anybody down there? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, there's no power. Yeah, okay. Even when this old mine was up and running, it was tricky to keep stuff powered. You know, the miners used to have to pay just to run the fans and the lights. Yeah, they got paid in these shitty plastic tokens. Coal script, you know? And if you want to run the fans for a bit to clear the air up, well, you have to put a token in. My parents used to work here. So did Weaver's parents. I guess a lot of folks' parents worked here. Can we power it up? I bet we just have to free up some power from the PA system. Everything is rationed. Here, set up that lamp of yours, and I'll go unplug these ceiling lights. Okay. Clears his throat nervously, tries to think of something clever to say, fidgets with the change in his pocket. Tries to think of something clever to say. I heard the speakers back here crackle a bit. It's on now, right? Try saying something into the mouthpiece. Well. Okay, I hear you. We need to measure the echo delay time and figure out how deep the tunnels run. Just make some noises into the mouthpiece. Clears his throat. Hums a deep tone into the mouthpiece. Blows on the mouthpiece. Oh, whistles. Let's whistle. I think it's deep. Damn, that's a long delay. These tunnels run deep. I bet some of them have ruptured or joined up with the cave system. Alright, I set up my spectrum analyzer so we'll just say something into the mouthpiece and we can get a sense for how narrow the mine tunnels are. Don't be shy. Just say anything that comes into your head. Tell me a story about something. Or what did you have for your breakfast today? Okay. I had breakfast with Lizette. Uh, she made biscuits. And we talked about the day's work. Then I loaded the truck. Got it. Looks like the tunnels are pretty cramped. Yeah, low ceilings. Hope you're ready to stoop a bit. Eh, you're probably used to it. One more test. We just need to know if the air is breathable, or if it's too thin, or too dense. Just sit real close to the mouthpiece, and breathe. I'll measure the resonance of your breath with the air in the tunnels. Just try to relax. Try to breathe naturally. Breathes, and thinks about resting. Breathes and remembers a moment earlier in the day. Getting some pretty strong readings here. I think we're in good shape, but keep at it for a minute. Breathes and visualizes a cold drink. Conway breathes and relaxes as a peel of feedback in loose rock engulfs him. What? Did we just die? Act 1, Scene 4. Okay. <laughs> Did we die? That's a pretty shitty way to go, breathing into a microphone. Jesus, are you alright? What the hell? Uh, my leg is stuck. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna pull you out. We have to get you out of here. There you go. Okay, are you hurt? Can you put any weight on that leg? It's all messed up. Here, let's get you onto the tram. There you go. Now let's see if this thing has power. Well, okay. There's some luck, right? We should be able to ride this tram right out on one of the auxiliary exits. If there are any. I think there are. What about Weaver? We'll just find the exit and then figure out what to do from there. That's our first priority. So, the controls are over on your side. Let's get moving. Really? Okay, I am controlling this. Wow, it slows down really fast, eh? Shadows are kind of encroaching on us. So our dude was breathing into a microphone, and his leg got fucked up. That's not normal. This tram is slow, though. Let me know if you guys see anything in the shadows, because I'll be creeped out, too. I'm looking, but I don't really see much. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell that was about the people that were at the card table and they disappeared. 
Whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. Turntable. Oh, here we are. This may be hard to believe. It's hard for me to believe myself, but this whole branch was underwater last I heard. Uh, is it safe? I guess so. Looks like they finally drained it, or maybe it just drained off on its own. The water came in pretty fast, and a lot of folks got trapped in the tunnels. I only heard parts of how it went from there. Sanitized for the bereaved, you know how these big companies are. But there was gossip too. The trap miners couldn't get the pumps going because the power was rationed, so they shut all the lights off. But even when, even then it wasn't enough. So I guess it was dark when they... You lost the people down here, didn't you? We all lost people down here. Well, not all of us. But most of us. Doesn't matter now. Look. This old turntable is still wired up. The controls are dead, but I can use my signal generator to switch tracks. If the water hasn't damaged it too much, or we can just keep heading down this tunnel. All this junk hanging up around the turntable is from the company store. Just junk, you know? The miners would buy it and use it to decorate the place. Or as landmarks, I guess. Hard to know which way is which down here. It's also dim and gray. Shannon connects two clip leads from her signal generator to the turntable's electrical panel. We're on the track between the animal bones and the rowboat, so... So... Pendulum and the casket, or the bat feeder and the scarecrow? Let's go with the bat feeder and the scarecrow. Alright, let's see where this takes us. I mean, we probably should have seen where the first track went anyways, but this will be nice. There's fucking mannequin arms and shit hanging everywhere. I guess that's from the artificial limb factory down the road. Oh, broken track. The tracks are all messed up here. This tram isn't going any further. I wonder what's down that tunnel. back? Or do I have to turn us back on the turntable? Alright, we can go back this way. Let's see what past the rowboat. Or the bat feeder. Whatever, I don't know. Oh, it's going down. We're going deeper into the mine. Do you hear that? Kind of a muffled rumbling. Maybe we're near water. Oh, okay, I accidentally said the surface. Yeah, it sounds like kind of like a highway. I wonder why they stopped digging so abruptly here. Maybe they hit a pipe or something. Alright, so there is a highway there. Is that zero? Maybe that's the zero that we need. I don't know. So this track is dead. I think we should go back to the one we were on before and see where that takes us. Just for curiosity's sake, you know? She connects the two clips again. We're on the track between the bat feeder and the scarecrow, so... Let's go back on the... The animal bones and the rowboat. Which is where we were before. We'll keep going to the right. I have a feeling we need to be on the one that's kind of—it was kind of highlighting it. But I, I'd want to—I want to kind of explore all of this mine down here and see if it's anything cool. Like I said, guys, it's more of a let's play of just like it's more of a story told, being told, kind of similar to Walking Dead, but less zombies, I guess. I'm not sure what's what's in our path, but I'm enjoying it so far. Oh, that's a dark tunnel. The last thing I want right now is for something just to fucking pop out of the darkness. That'd be creepy as all hell. That looks like an opening too. I can't click on it though. There's a lot of strange openings down here. Okay, doesn't look like a dead end. Looks like there's some light up ahead. So... There's an exit. 
Okay. Thank God. Okay. Let's poke around down here a bit more first. 